Dear students, please note down. The notes of this lecture are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. Dear students, today we will clear another important topic for NEET students as well as BSc first year second semester students. Male reproductive system of cockroach. Today we will clear male reproductive system of cockroach. That is a final exam topic for all BSc first year students. And as we know, in case of cockroach, both sex are separate. The animal is dioecious. Externally, we can distinguish very easily male and female cockroach. In case of male cockroach, the terminal part, the posterior part that possesses a pair of needle-like anal styles, which are absent in case of female cockroach. Dear students, here in this system, male reproductive system of cockroach periplaneta americana, following parts are involved. A pair of testes. These are fine elongated follicular structures and each testis consists of about 30 to 40 follicles. The lining of testis follicles that is germinal epithelium. It means that germin germinal epithelium is involved in the formation of spermatozoa male sex cells. And these spermatozoa male sex cells are carried via fine ducts. These are a pair of ducts named vessa deferentia. It means the testes which are male gonads and each testes consists of about 30 to 40 follicles. They are lining their epithelium that is germinal epithelium which gives rise spermatozoa by the process of spermatogenesis and these spermatozoa are carried by fine ducts which are a pair of vessa deferentia. Vessa deferentia of both sides unite here in this middle part. At the junction of this ejaculatory duct. The upper part of this ejaculatory duct consists of a globular mushroom shaped gland which is very important this mushroom gland or it is utricular gland or note down it is uricose gland as this gland is also involved in excretion here note down this mushroom gland it consists of three parts its central part having small rounded vesicles and these are named seminal vesicles. Not down each and every point of mushroom gland, uricose gland, utricular gland. Its central part having small vesicles. These are seminal vesicles and these vesicles are involved in the storage of the spermatozoa which are carried via these vessa deferentia, these spermatozoa get stored here in these seminal vesicles. The second part of this mushroom gland, these are small tubules. No down, it means in the middle part of this mushroom gland, small tubules are present. And the secretion of small tubules that nourishes the spermatozoa. And on the periphery of this mushroom gland, these are long tubules are present. It means the mushroom gland having three components. Its central part, small rounded vesicles. These are seminal vesicles which are involved in the storage of spermatozoa. And in the middle part of this mushroom gland, these are small tubular structures. These are small tubules which are involved in the nourishment of spermatozoa because the secretion of small tubules that nourishes the spermatozoa and on periphery outer region long tubules are present and these long tubules are involved in the formation of spermatophore dear students this is another structure which is important spermatophore it means sperms get stored in these special type of bodies and the spermatophore is lined by three layers of wall. Its inner wall is 
that is formed by the secretion of long tubules. Dear students, spermatophores in which spermatozoa get stored and each spermatophore having three walls. Its inner wall is formed by the secretion of long tubules. The secretion of small tubules that nourishes the spermatozoa and these seminal vesicles which get stored, spermatozoa. Another gland is, and this one is phallic gland, conglobate gland. This gland which is leaf-like club-shaped structure which lies on one side above the mushroom gland. And the secretion of this phallic gland, conglobate gland, that is involved in the formation of outer layer of this spermatophore. Not down, this ejaculatory duct which carries the spermatophore. But the lining of this ejaculatory duct which is highly glandular, it means the secretion of this ejaculatory duct. That secretion is involved in the formation of middle layer of this spermatophore. Not down, this spermatophore which gets stored, spermatozoa. And its wall is made up of three layers. Its outer layer that is produced by the secretion of this phallic gland. Its innermost layer that is produced by the secretion of long tubules. And its middle layer that is produced by the secretion of ejaculatory duct. This ejaculatory duct opens exteriorly. It opens out through this ventral phalomere and no down the duct of this phallic gland it opens outside through this left phalomere no down another important question another important question for all competitive exams in case of male cockroach one two three chitinous structures are present and these three chitinous structures are external genitalia. Or no down, these are phallomeres. Or no down, these are gonapophyses. This right phallomere having a pair of opposing plates. One hook is there and it's this spiny structure. This one is serrate law. This ejaculatory duct, not down competition student needs students, this ejaculatory duct opens outside through this ventral phalomere. And this duct of phallic gland, it opens outside through this left phalomere. And this left phalomere possesses one acutolobus, this fine sickle shaped structure, this one is aspirate lobe and this structure is pseudoparous and its last hook like structure that is titillator. Dear students, this is all about male reproductive system of cockroach pari planeta americana. Another important question for BSc first year second semester students in this system a pair of test is which are male gonads and each test is, is made up of about 30 to 40 follicles. Their lining is germinal epithelium that gives rise male sex cells spermatozoa and these spermatozoa are carried via fine ducts. These are vasa differentia, a pair of fine ducts, tubular structures which conduct spermatozoa. And both sides of vessa differentia unite here and open in this ejaculatory duct. On the above part of this ejaculatory duct, a mushroom gland is there having three components, central part, small vesicles. These are seminal vesicles to store spermatozoa. The middle part having small tubules and the secretion of small tubules nourishes the spermatozoa. And on peripheral region, outer side, long tubules the secretion of long tubules that is that is involved 
in the formation of inner lining of spermatophore. This ejaculatory duct, which is again glandular structure and its secretion that produce middle wall of this spermatophore. And this leaf like club shaped structure, this gland is phallic gland, conglobate gland, its duct that opens externally through this left phalomere. And this phallic gland, its secretion, which is involved in the formation of outer wall of this spermatophore. Here in case of male cockroach, one, two, three, right, ventral and left, chitinous, external genitalia, phalomeres, gonapophysis. No doubt, this ejaculated duct, it opens outside through this ventral phalomere. And this duct of phallic gland which opens outside through this left phalomere. In case of right phalomere, a pair of opposing plates, a one hook and one serrate lobe is present. This is all about male reproductive system of cockroach. In tomorrow's lecture, we will clear another important topic for BSc second, BSc second semester students, female reproductive system.